Now we're here again in Clohan, the Monaghan Centre of Excellence for GAA, and it is, of course, the media night for the Maguire International Division One Championship final. I'm delighted to say I've been joined by representatives here from the Ochtermolen Club. I'm going to go to the uh, joint captains here first, of course, Michal Vanigan, and indeed alongside him then we have Stephen McGee. I suppose first things first, Michal. A championship final is always a nice occasion to look forward to. Yeah, well, we're delighted to be honest. It does these uh, opportunities don't come out too often. Like 2009 is last that one team to get to a final, and we're just it's a privilege to be part of it. Of course, it is. You're taking on uh, Cardiff, and I know you've already met twice in the league, and I've accounted for them on that. But that means very little, I suppose, when it comes to a championship final. It's, it's a new day. It's a new game. I would like to say a championship is a completely different ball game, Sean. You know. I don't know what to expect. That was a long time ago from played in the league and both teams would see have come on a lot since then. We were just looking at the form coming into this as well and I know you had overcome St. Patrick's which was a combination of Bally Bay and Drumhow and a good local derby there from an Ahamullen perspective. I'm sure that was a nice one to get off your back first and then to follow it up with victory over Clinturbert. So it wasn't an easy path, Stephen. It's not an easy path. It's never an easy path against St. Pat's. Very hard team to beat St. Pat's. Are, uh, we worked hard very well and we happened to get across the lane and that was good on the day. Ah, well, that's what all that counts, and it gets you into championship final. It's been remarked. It's 2009 from you to being there. Obviously, it's a whole new team in that time as well, I suppose. So it's great to see. I think you mentioned it was under-16s are kind of coming up, and you, that group has kept together and, and carried the success. Exactly. Those two, four years ago now, it was, it was very, very tough coming up through the years there. And hopefully, well, boys worked very hard up through the years, and... Luckily now we're here, and hopefully we can bring it on and bring it home. Exactly, the most important thing, I know the manager's alongside you there as well, and that's of course Colm Rayborn. Colm, I'll call you in a wee bit closer to me here as well. Colm, listen, it's been remarked there, it's never easy, particularly at a young age, to keep a team together, to build on them, to carry that success through, but that's been happening. Yeah, it's been happening, and especially with this team, we were together with this team two years ago at under 16s, and... Very strong team, young team at the same time, you know, there's a few older players on it and that's what we're kind of dealing with the year, a few older boys and a few, a lot of young boys on the team, should I say, and they've stuck together and at the beginning of the year we didn't maybe expect as big a things as we're getting to, but we had a tough enough road maybe to get to the final, but we're there and privileged to be in it and you can't win them unless you're in them. Well, that's it exactly, and I suppose if the rough was, or if the road was anyway easy, well, it, it'd probably take a little bit off it. The fact that you had that tough journey to make that makes it a bit more special to be there. Oh, definitely. So, like, there's no point in getting in handy. The tougher the road you have in, it's probably better. You know, it might stand to us again. Cut off, cut off's not going to be easy to beat by no means. We might have beat them twice in the league, but as you said yourself, that really counts for nothing on the big day. Yeah, I was just going to remark that, but obviously you have the experience of being there, playing them. I suppose you'd know them, they'll know you, and that will give rise maybe it'll be a hard one to call from a neutral perspective. Yeah, probably a hard enough one to call if the outside, the outside world looking in, but listen, Cuduffs have no under-16 team of the year, which is a big advantage to them. We had a good under-16 team of the year, and we kind of had to walk around them as well, whereby Cuduff had the full... Full team out every night of training, but nights we had only seven and eight out training. We had to give the under-16s the, the privilege mm. to train on their own by times too, you know, so maybe we could offer an advantage in that sense. I suppose you could look on it that way. I'm going to go to the selector, Lee, maybe, and look on it another way. Remark there about the under-16s, but it's the basis of that under-16s has got you to where you are now at the moment with this minor team. And it's unusual to say it at minor football, to have experienced players maybe going into finals is a big plus. Yeah, well, we have experienced players, but as I'm going back on what Colin said there, we're very reliant on our younger players, which is uh, a base them would be all under 16. Like, if you take down the 16s out of it, we're only left with maybe six, seven lads, like, you know, but they are, they've brought, they are experienced in that sense, like, but as I say, we are very dependent on our younger players in, in it, like, but look at, there's, uh, in saying that, the, the younger lads is very, uh, they, they show a lot of leadership and they show they bring it on come to feel like you know they, they don't show they're on the 16 they look like minors if that makes sense uh, yeah of course it does yeah. because they're, they're used to playing to each other they're yeah. familiar with each other and as I say there's a nice blend between the two then yeah yeah they do they've grown up with each other as I said they've been on this team together the under 16s and minors to combine well together and they know each other inside out these lads as they said they've been stuck together through tick and tin and I think it only it's, it's a great privilege for them to be uh, here on county final day, like you know, so it's great for them. 
Great for them, Shirley. County final day, Dermot. Any time, any clubs involved in any particular county final. It's always a big occasion, particularly now for the Miners and for Ahuna Mullen. That was a big occasion for the club, like, and the support will be all out that day. Like, so we have great support, and these group of lads has given us great entertainment the last number of years. Like, so hopefully you get over the line on the day, you know. So. Which is the big part of it, of yeah. course. But I suppose, Remark, I know we talked about it's the younger players, and uh, like any club, that's where everything has to start. They always yeah, talk about yeah. grassroots. Well, this is where the grassroots will start for the makings of a senior, but to even have these lads contesting these finals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This the group of boys, they're about together since they're on the 12, the one in on the 12, and they're on the 12, the one in on the 14 league, and then they went on one in Dublin on the 16, and now they're in Division 1 final, you know, like, so it's a big, big achievement. A lot of work been done on the ground like, with lads and with the compliment all the managers that took them through the years, and the late own worked very hard with this team as well, so. It's a, it's a it's great achievement for the club to be here. Like, so. It certainly is. And I'll just go back once more, Michal, to yourself. We know you've experienced the big occasion, I suppose, from a, a county perspective. But when you come back to your club, obviously, it's always something a little extra special. Oh, it's definitely extra extra special. You're playing with the boys that you've grown up with all over the years. Like, it's just, you can't, you can't beat that. Like, it's, uh, it's, just, it's extra special, like you said. And finally then, the venue is going to be Castle Blaney. Obviously, we've been in Clonus for the past number of years. Castle Blaney, just down the road, I suppose, for you as well. So that'll be a big factor, maybe, in the support that'll arrive down. Oh, well, I don't think so. Uh, Animal and Sport would go the length of the breadth of the country <laughs> to see us in a county final. It wouldn't matter where it is. So it wouldn't, it wouldn't matter where no, it is. Well. Definitely not. But looking forward to the occasion. I can't wait.